All right, guys, I've been hearing a lot of complaints that they don't know how to set up Hammer exactly, or that Hammer's just been messing up for them and they just need some help. So hopefully in this tutorial, we're gonna help you set up Hammer properly to see all the textures that you're getting uh, for the Minecraft stuff. So first off, we need to make sure that Hammer is grabbing the correct directories. Um, so when you load Hammer, we're gonna go to Options. Now, if you don't see this window immediately, if you see a little mini window that pops up that says like Counter-Strike Half-Life 2 or whatever, Load up any one of those, load up Counter-Strike, Half-Life 2, anything, doesn't really matter. We're going to make a new configuration. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete mine so I can just, uh, just make it all new again. Alright, so to start out, we need to load up Hammer, go into Tools, Options, you'll see this window. We're going to, we're going to edit this, we're going to make a new one, and we're going to go ahead and call this one Gary's Mod, just for good times. Then we have to select it. Gary's mod, so it's going to be a completely blank entry. So we need to add the FGD files. So this whole time I'm using source SDK base 2013. I'm using the hammer file that's within there. Um, people have been using get the Counter-Strike hammer file. It doesn't really matter. It's just the one that I use the most. Um, so anyway, from there, we can go to bin, the bin folder. And then in here you're going to see a few base or a few FGD files. These are the files that you need to add one by one. And this will kind of add all the brushes and all the triggers and all the like door thing, all, all the custom things that we need in order to create a map. After we add those, we also need to add one for Gary's mod. So go back to your source directory or to your common directory, all the Steam games that you have for Gary's mod. Uh, there it is. Open Gary's Mod, open Gary's Mod again. So we're in Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod. And in here, we should also see another FGD. If you're wanting to make a TTT map, you're also gonna need to add that. So we're gonna have to go to common, go back to Gary's Mod. Mm -hmm. Gary's Mod, and then TTT would be within game modes, Terra Town. And then this one right here. Uh, I kind of modified mine, but if you want to be able to add the random weapon spawns for TTT um, triggers that only traders can see and everything, you need to have this added. Um, yours would be TTT. I just modified mine a little bit, so I'm using TTT edited. Now, we should be set on the game data files. Now, one more thing, we need to choose our game ex executable. So, since every time I map, I want it to load Gary's mod to test the map out. Um, you need to find out, you need to select the Gary's Mod executable where that's located. So we're going to Gary's Mod, and actually it's right there. That's where the um, executable is. So we're looking for the directory where this is located. And as you can tell, mine is in common Gary's Mod right there. So that's the folder I selected. Now for the, where the game info is selected, this one is actually, or where it's located, this one's actually located, we're doing this one once again. This one is located in Steam Maps, Common, Gary's Mod, and Gary's Mod. That is where it's looking for this file. Now this file needs to contain a certain, some certain text so that it grabs the right textures and the right models. I'm going to include this text inside of a, a, a paste bin link. And all you can do is like copy and paste the whole entire thing in there um, from the link that I'm going to provide. I should, it should show up here. Anyway, so make sure that that's saved and make sure that all looks right. Um, that's for that. Now the VMF directory. Um, this is just go to, this is where your maps are going to compile. Um, Oops. You can also just set that to Gary's mod, Gary's mod, and maps if you want to. It's it's fine. It doesn't really matter. Um, all right, so that is set. Click apply. Now we're not done yet. It says we have to restart, but we're not done yet. We need to fix some other stuff too. We need to go all the way over to build programs. This is what's going to be used to compile the map, um, compile the lights, and everything. Now the build programs that we want to use, there's Steam <laughs> provides so many of them. Um, since we are using 
uh, well, since I am using this to compile, I'm going to go ahead and use the ones in here. So in order to find that, you have to go to common source SDK base 2013 multiplayer bin. And within the bin folder, you're going to see all these little VBSP things. Now, first, it was asking for the game executable. Now, since I'm using Gary's mod once again, I'm going to use Gary's mod. Oh, right there. And then the BSP executable, this is the one where it compiles the map. So we're going to use VBSP. These are all the VizRad, this is all going to be the same location. This was the Viz. And the Rad. Now mind you, SDK, base, multiplayer, bin. This last one is where do you want the maps placed before it loads, it loads Gary's mod or whatever map game you're playing. I'm using Gary's mod. So this is where you want the maps to be placed before you load Gary's mod so that it can load the map automatically. So we want to place these within the maps folder inside of Gary's mod. There we go. Press OK. So, since everything was saved correctly, we should be able to close out, reopen Hammer, and I should be able to open up my map now that I've made. Now, the one I made last time with you guys, let's see, I think I made it, where did I make it? Uh, I'll just open up whatever map. I don't remember the one I can I don't remember what happened to Adventure Craft, the one I was making before. And there you have it. Everything you should see properly. So hopefully you should get all the textures loaded. Um, I'm gonna make another video including other bugs. This video is strictly just including how to set up hammer. Now um, as far as little shortcuts and things that you use in hammer, I'll look up another YouTube video. I mean if it needs to be I can make one, but Pretty self explanatory. Good luck, guys, and hope Hammer works out for you. Dooskies. Also, forgot one last thing if your textures aren't coming up, um, if you're not seeing any of the Minecraft textures like you should be, um, what we can do is also check to see where you place them. When you extract Sourcecraft, um, you're given this, and you're given this textures folder. What you want to do that would make it correctly is find your Gary's Mod direct directory. Gary's Mod and Gary's Mod. So we're going to be within common Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod. You're going to see a whole bunch of folders, um, materials, models, media, maps, everything. In our materials folder, we want to drag and drop Minecraft Original. That way it looks like, boom, just like that. We want it to be right here. Um, if it's here, when you load up uh, Hammer again, you'll be able to see all the textures properly placed. So make sure it is here. If you are using other custom textures, like if you got the energy pack that I told you to download, you would extract that just straight to there. Um, these are some other pack textures I've gotten. Um, useful things. Uh, another tutorial, I'll show you how to use add-ons from the workshop to be able to add those into your maps. Like there's a Minecraft mob pack, which is really useful. And uh, I'll show you how to do that. Anyway, that's where you should put the textures. Make sure to do that. Do that before you load Hammer, and that will allow you to see all the pictures. Good luck, guys.